Hey guys, what's up? Arclight Tank here. Finally back to commentating. I've actually done a few and they turn out subpar. But here uh, here we've got a good game. Supposedly, uh, Ghost of Gamers have got a great review, which is Mao's Morrow and MTW De Muslim. So, De Muslim, uh, I've seen his name a lot lately. So, uh, hopefully, this will be a good match. He is playing Terran. He is going to be our, uh, yes, it's Teal Terran in the bottom left. And the top right, we have Mouse Morrow, which uh, I've done a commentary of his before. He's a pretty good Zerg style. Uh, he's one of the Mouse guys. I like that team. I've always really liked that team. They've always put out great players. And uh, just an overlord out so far. So, I've actually done a couple commentaries, but they turned out kind of subpar. I did a Hydra Nerd Rage one. And uh, I haven't posted it because I did it and the game was garbage. What I was expecting Hydra to just blow up at the end, but he just goes, oh, I don't like this, and calls the guy trash and leaves. So it really wasn't worth it, and it would have been a really boring game for really nothing, I can tell you, because it was really boring commentating it. So the Supply Depot down now for the Muslim, and he's sending out a SUV already to scout, and it looks like just another another overlord heading out and it looks like this one's probably going to be heading up to the north of the muslim space so that he can come in from this way and uh, get a good view without being seen uh, completely just going straight on in so uh, that's great we see that a lot from zergs now and it looks like the muslims scout is just getting there now and the spawning pool was a 12 pool followed directly by or actually the extractor was first so he's got the extractor and the pool a little bit later than the extractor and it looks like the muslim is building an engineering bay which uh, those are very cheap at just 75 minerals i believe uh... maybe higher but uh, he's building that there to block that early expansion. But this is going to work out great for Morrow because Morrow, he has not chosen to go for an early expansion. So this could work out great for him because all it means is the Muslim is wasting minerals. But he is going to get a 75% return on that because he built it just up to the point before he canceled it. So it still does have about 750 HP, but he can hit cancel and get a pretty good return on income there. So Morrow now looks like he's uh, no Zerglings yet because his spawning pool is not out. But it looks like we may be seeing one soon or just some more workers. But he's doing great, keeping up on overlords. He's got a pretty good surplus and uh, he's getting a lot of workers. He's got this gas here producing pretty good, uh, but it does not have full workers on it. It's just one. So they're tied right now at 16 and 16. And it looks like he's going to get that orbital command. So that will increase his mineral income of significantly above Morrow's because Morrow does have an extra worker off doing gas. And it looks like we're going to start seeing some marines. So this is interesting because there's no second barracks yet. And normally, uh, what we see a lot, or I have encountered a lot playing Zerg in the gold ladder, is they'll go three racks right away expecting that fast expand and if you do fast expand that can do very good against it so it looks like we're seeing four zerglings and a drone out now trying to destroy this engineering bay so doing a little bit of progress but it's still got quite a ways to go so queen finally out now for morrow that'll increase his production a lot it's always great to have that queen there and he's gone for a eggs on his hatchery rather than going for that early creep tumor so now we've got this overlord north of the Muslim's base heading south into his base and the Muslim also went for uh, a pretty quick expansion as far as Terran is concerned because he knows he's got map control, he knows he's got a significantly larger force because Maro went for a later expansion and Maro, he's kind of just stagnant right now, he's going for speed, he does have uh, looks like mostly workers on the way trying to get a good one base economy which that doesn't work really well for Zerg and looks like he's gonna send in two now and he is gonna see this wall of buildings here which is two more barracks down at the bottom of the ramp and a bunker so that does great against holding off like roaches or something like that the bunker gives you just enough uh, momentum there in that fight that it can cause a significant advantage in a small fight which can you know kind of expand so uh, what we've got here is more marines coming, he's just on one racks right now, but he does have the second one almost done and this third one about halfway done, and his expansion is almost completely done. So this is very interesting for Terran, because normally we'll see Terran do uh, one base for a little bit of time, and uh, especially that he has it before the Zerg, that's very interesting and that can do a lot uh, towards the economies in this game, because normally you expect the Zerg to have that a lot, uh, a lot of time before the Terran does. So, our Terran now, uh, 
the bunker as a bunker full and he's building another one back there I'm not sure the purpose of that maybe just to guard his ramp a little bit better and he does have the two barracks up now at the bottom of the ramp and the third one at the top of the ramp but his income is not matching his production so he does not have marines on all of them yet he's kinda slow with that but that's why he's got this here which is almost an orbital command about halfway there let's take a look at production so uh, he does have that orbital command coming it's almost done and that'll give him a significant increase he'll overtake uh, Morrow quite a bit because he will have the mule calling down so uh, now we see Morrow with a pretty good sized force of zerglings moving around now it looks like that's gonna be about 16 of them heading south now towards the Muslims base hoping that there's not that many units there but these bunkers do great against zerglings especially with their small hits and uh, it's not that much just around for you know, it's, it's got quite a bit of space, but not too good. So it looks like he's going to go in here expecting a lot of drones, and he's only going to find four SCVs and a mule, or two mules, rather, which the Muslim does need to keep those mules alive because those do a lot as far as income, and losing them would be very bad for him because he would have to wait for the recharge, and even though you don't actually put any resources into them, they're a crucial part of Terran economy. So now what we're going to see for Morrow is some Banelings, which Banelings are a perfect counter for mass marine. Marauder counters them a little bit, but normally when we see banelings, we see it followed pretty, uh, excuse me, pretty quickly by mutilists, and mutilists do great against marauders. So this is a very good army against Terran infantry, and it looks like so far all he's done is gone uh, marine. But now it looks like he's building a tech lab, so he may be going siege tank, and it looks like this may be just a, a kind of a two base turtle build. Uh, if I would call it that. So he's got a lot of bunkers going down now and a supply depot out in front. So I'm not sure if he's preparing for maybe a mutilisk, which it's not very well prepared at all for that because all the Muslim would have to do is kill the, uh, uh, or distract them out of those bunkers. So it looks like the Muslim is gonna see that and Morrow is gonna move in trying to bang in that first bunker, but he only gets the first bunker. Second bunker there, he's gonna try and turn, he's just gonna go right around that second bunker. So now all those units have to bail out of those bunkers, and he's gonna go right for the workers. He can do a tremendous amount of damage. So it looks like harvesters now for the Muslim are still higher at 30, but they're, they're able to take out the zerglings on their own. And especially with that marine support, those zerglings are just gonna melt away. But he does have a few more here attacking this barracks, which attacking the barracks could do a pretty good amount of damage, and it would reduce the Muslim's uh, production quite a bit. But it looks like he's just gonna go for those two worker picks and get out of there. Which, that was actually very good, because now he's brought a huge gap in workers down to just two. And it looks like he's going to make some more banelings and some more workers, or uh, the zerglings rather. And uh, this base is still not up. The economy is just about as bad as the Muslims is. And his main is okay uh, at best, but he is going to lair on a single gas, which concerns me. Normally as a zerg player myself, I can say that you need two gas to run a good baneling and anything that is past lair tech build. So... I'm not very sure about this decision or where he's going with it. Maybe he's just doing it to get extra upgrades, but I don't see an Evo chamber. So this is a very curious build, and he's not expanding very much. This game is uh, its kind of odd. I don't see much like this normally. So now we've got these uh, Zerglings doing a great job of harassing up against that one bunker. And the bunker's just kind of trying to pick them off, and they're just trying to get that last worker. And he did successfully get it with that last Zergling sneaking in there and hitting the worker. So it looks like we're going to see Siege Tech now. And uh, Siege Tank's very good for keeping on the Zerglings because they do that splash damage. But the problem is, if you get the Zerglings up next to the Siege Tank, that's very bad. So you've got to kind of have the Siege Tank in a position where it can't get surrounded and where it has great cover from the Marines. And it looks like just moving in there, taking out more Harvesters now. And Morrow is now ahead of the Muslim as far as workers. So very good play there, uh, doing a, a tremendous amount of harassment and uh, pretty much destroying the second base economy. So that's great to see as far as Mario is concerned. And Muslim not doing that great of a job to hold off. I don't really like the bunker idea. It takes out troop mobility. And uh, what he could do right now, uh, maybe Marauders because they work great against Banelings. But the Siege Tanks, uh, they're a pretty good idea, especially if he were to mix them with Hellions. And it looks like he's going for a Starport right now. Let's head back over to the Production tab. And we just see a lot of workers right now coming out of Morrow's base, and that's about it. He's very uh, good at keeping to a minimum on his combat units. His macro play right now is amazing. He's just... 
Uh, he hasn't expanded, but what he's doing is he's using a small amount of zerglings, which don't take that many eggs, and they don't take that many minerals, and he's sending them out and keeping the Muslim pinned into his base and unable to attack. So he's building up his economy with a relatively low cost to, to stay on the offensive, and he's gaining map control. So an extremely economically efficient build he's got going here. Especially against this uh, kind of turtle build, which has very little offensive power. He doesn't have that many marines, and as soon as the siege tanks de siege, uh, the zerglings can easily overtake them. So he does have a lot of workers on his main and a, uh, a small amount on his secondary, his natural right there, which we're not seeing either player trying to expand. I think they both know that they really don't need it against the other player right now, and uh, the Muslim, matter of fact, he can't handle it can't handle going for another expansion. So he does have a lair now, and he does have that four gas that I was talking about that he needs to support a good build as far as lair tech, but he's not doing anything to get either Hydra or Muta or, or anything uh, as far as lair, which it looks like he did build something right there and, and destroy it. It may have been a spire or something like that that he didn't want the Muslim to see. So now we're seeing even more tanks, and it looks like we're going to go for a reactor on the starport so he may be trying to get marines which it looks like he does have a tech lab there producing stim pack right now so it's very likely that we're going to see him try and go a heavy marine build and use a drop ship support which at the moment if he had good scouting uh it may be even a uh, feasible feasible option sorry to go for banshee because we're just, oh, uh, there's the Spire. So Banshee no longer a feasible option now that the Spire is very late as far as a Muta build. Uh, normally when I do it, I have it down uh, significantly before that. And he has done a great job, though. He took it later, but he positioned himself very well. So we see a lot coming out of the Muslim's base right now. He's got armor and weapons for infantry upgrading right now at two separate engineering bases. He's got two more barracks coming in. He's got more supply depots, and he's got an armory coming in. So we could be seeing just a siege tank upgrades, or maybe even some Thors on the field. Which, as far as Terran go, uh, two bases is good enough to support a very basic Thor build. Uh, he can't get too far into it, but it can support a marine build quite easily, uh, up until the point when these minerals start diminishing, which they are getting kind of low right now, and he may need to expand pretty soon unless he has a good surplus, which he does not. So... Uh, now we're seeing Maro expanding to this 3 o'clock position, and this is going to be great for him because he's going to have that extra base. He's going to be ahead of the Muslim uh, significantly. So now he does have the centrifugal, center, centrifugal, uh, I can't get it out, centrifugal hooks for these Banelings. And the Banelings are heading in now uh, with the rolling and their significant significantly faster and if anything it looks like he's trying to go for workers but he, he may just have to go for a supply boat which it looks like yeah he, he's just going to lose them to the siege tanks not taking out any workers damaging a mule but not really killing it and it looks like this supply depot may burn down but it looks like a repair is on that already so let's take a look at the production tab just three marines he does need some reactors which there he goes he's building two uh, barracks with the reactor so he kind of wanted to keep him off this front line here which was a great decision and now that he's got these coming in he's gonna see a significant increase in marine production and he's also got more supply depot